Presencia de refinería aquí en San Nicolás, Pajopi Aña ha identificado progreso y desarrollo económico. No obstante, es aquí, su presencia de parse de tiene un elemento limitante también para otro tipo de desarrollo empresarial. A work with refinería para su operación, esta es la situación comercial más crítica en San Nicolás. El gabinete Eiman ha vuelto mostrar atención para la situación en San Nicolás, presentando un paquete de incentivos para estimular el negocio en el área. Más que se ha sentido como obligación para derecha escol y barrio de manera que el muerto puede estar deteriorado. Restaurar un monumento importante para nuestra herencia cultural de manera que el agua y la infraestructura del village. A Sinti, o San Nicolás, merece esa aquí. So these new roads, these new neighborhoods, these new schools, this new fiscal regime is no favor. It is what a government owes a society. De un diálogo social a acordar con riba el tema de reforma fiscal para un estímulo en la economía, lo viene diferente cambio. Entre otros, crea una ley general para estimular inversión y un régimen fiscal nuevo para estimular la economía en San Nicolás. Experto en la traducción y decisión en la toma del diálogo social de la ley en concreto. Es aquí lo que conoce a AUE como un manejo preferencial, un begunstigend beleid. No es no por queda sin reconocer que para el tiempo pasado el gobierno presente tiene atención para nuestro sector. No es no por quitar con diferente forma y manera tiene cambio positivo grande va yendo on para arriba de Brujo. Hoy el proyecto no es positivo que está bajo construcción con los mestres de reconocerle y algún nanco tarifa pipeline. Sin embargo, el comerciante en Andy San Nicolás, para todo el sacrificio, nos está sintiendo that we deserve a lot more. Now is our time. More than 88% of all the businesses registered in Aruba are registered at the bridge of Balashi and to the west side of that. Um, therefore, again, it's proven that uh, the industry in San Nicolas or the upper side of the island is very little. It's very little industry and there are very re um, a lot of reasons why that is as such. Un presentación reciente en la comunidad de San Nicolás y interesado en a ilustrar incentivo en fiscal con mester traducido en oportunidad nuevo y mester reforma el pensamiento que costan lo cambia en San Nicolás. El gobierno ha acordado un paquete atractivo de incentivo para, entre otros, crear oportunidad para zona libre reforzar su posición competitiva. Además, otros leen que fortifica la posición de consumidor con reducción extra para derecho su poder de compra y reducir el peso de impuesto. Se trata de una reforma fiscal para un empuje en la economía y de un estímulo especial para el desarrollo económico en San Nicolás. Un área que aparece de en la sombra de desarrollo económico debe en diferentes factores. La misma um, industria que provided a lot of um, progress for Aruba during the last 90 years. The refinery um, also brought upon us in this side of the island a lot of limitation for new industries. It is almost impossible to create the tourism industry with hotels, whether it is high rise or boutique hotels, smaller hotels. It's very difficult to get tourists to come on this side of the island to stay, and when they look outside of their window, they see. You know the refinery operation with all the smoke. For us, when we see smoke coming out of the chimneys, it is progress. For a lot of tourists from the U.S. or from Europe, when they come to Aruba and they see smoke coming out of the chimneys, it is really not progress. It is all doing bad business, environmental damages, not good for the health, and so on. And this has caused during the years um, a lot of limitations 
to this side of the island. E menester ta numera algun aspecto adicional ku ti un efecto limitante riba negosi i entre otro desarrollo turistico, un sector ku ta carga economia di Aruba. We have also the challenge of the downtown nightlife in San Nicolas. And also we have the Kia Correct Institute, the jail, yeah, the prison right up here in San Nicolas and one of the prime spots if you want to do anything when it comes to um, tourism industry for hotels, condominiums and what not more. And um, we have also the grand majority of jobs are located on the west side of the island. Therefore, it's about 70%, if not 80% of the labor force of San Nicolas, the people that live in San Nicolas, part of the labor force, 80 to 70% of those people work on the other side of the island. And many of them would um, leave very early from home that has its own social challenges because many of them would drop their kids at school around six o'clock in the morning, little kids sitting out there for almost two hours just waiting for teachers to arrive and so on with all consequences that this can bring to them. And would, the parents would go to work and then most of the time they would reach back pretty late in the early evening um, back from work and it would be difficult to come home and then go again to do some shopping and then come back home. So what they do, they do the shopping one time in Orionstadt also before they reach home because once you reach home after that many hours they want to dedicate a little bit of time that uh, remains with the kids, for example, and prepare for the next day. Añadina Esaki is situation di refineria. Un planta ku ta bata refina 225 mil bari pa dia, no ta operando mas. E chimenea di refineria ku ta bata representa 6 mil kubo di trabao directo i indirecto, ya no ta saka huma. Tin 600 milion florin menos de noso ekonomia. E di Esaki e presupuesto fiscal nacional ta haya entre 100 pa 120 milion florin menos anualmente. Aunque gobierno ainda está considerando posible opción a perifinería, me servirá con diferentes tipos de inversión que no toma lugar en San Nicolás y en el vecindario. Es aquí de encuadro de llega a un desarrollo comercial sostenible y para impulsar crecimiento económico. We took a decision not to go for quantity, but quality. If we want to sell Aruba as a destination of four or five star, then we cannot just sell the hotel area as a four or five star, but the whole surrounding, the whole island. And we believe that if you go after quality, then you can also get more income for the same product that you're given of a higher quality. Therefore, you don't need to oversaturate the island with more people coming to support Aruba's economy. That brings a big burden on the social funds uh, and, and, and the, the, the infrastructure of school, um, um, the general medical um, insurance that we have and so on. And for the same amount of people that live on the island, you have a higher income. At the end of the day, the GDP per capita will increase because when you study the progress that we have from 86 to now, in 2000 we reached to the maximum point. And from 2000 on, it has been going down. Really, the, the, the added value for more rooms in Aruba for tourism has been going down. Um, so we're looking at that and if you do fix the whole Aruba, you have people that are now um, happier and a happy country to live is a happy country to visit. So we believe in that and that's what we're focusing on with all the infrastructure projects. The argument of concentrating on desarrollo qualitative in San Nicolás Hay a fuerza de entre otro y mejoración urbana de diferentes barrios, inversión de proyectos no comunitarios, renovación de facilidad deportiva y school, y derechamiento de calidad de beach en Pariba. Pero aguarda tiempo para atraer desarrollo comercial a través de un paquete incentivo fiscal. It is a very um, attractive package that um, will give a lot of incentives, businesses that um, already are existing in San Nicolas will enjoy this without having to make new investment. So they're part of this package, but new investment that come, uh, new companies that come to San Nicolas um, and are eligible to, to, to make use of this package will see a reduction in their profit tax 
from 28% to 15%. And also um, what we call um, dividend tax would be zero, no dividend tax. And also you would only pay 50% of your property tax. And um, investments that you make, there's a limit to the minimum investment, you will get additional to the 6% that used to be zero, 6% for investment deduction, will, you will get in St. Nicholas additional 10%. So it will be a 16% on investment deduction uh, before tax. Ta trata de un zona económico novo para San Nicolás. Compañía nan ku inscribi na negoci y ta cumpli ku cierto exigencia por goza de incentivo fiscal atractivo. Entre otro reducción de wins balancing de 28% pa 5% y 10%. Un dispensación de 100% de dividend belasting si establece y opera en San Nicolás. Un reducción de 50% de grand belasting para 5 años. El paquete de incentivo fiscal para esta cumplir con el requisito está ilustrar un investerings aftrack adicional. Esta es un incentivo para inversión de 10% extra para invertir 150 mil florín. Para lo que está San Nicolás, el primer ministro Mike Eyman te dice que para Hopi Aña te va una gran necesidad para San Nicolás haya un motivo para que en su futuro y una infraestructura y cuadro adecuado para trabajar en dirección de el futuro A. And I believe that tonight we are not only presenting the framework within which we can build this new future for San Nicolás, but we have also laid the foundation. As of the moment that we started with restoring lost neighborhoods, that we started restoring lost monuments, that we have started to create infrastructure that St. Nicholas deserved for a long time, that we have started with the renovation of the schools here in St. Nicholas, we are really laying down the foundation for a new optimism, a new sense of hope, a new sense of commitment with an area that delivered for Aruba more than 60 years the basis of our prosperity with an oil refinery, but an oil refinery that also took away the opportunity for any other development within St. Nicholas. So the people of Aruba, in North, Oranjestad, Paradera, Santa Cruz, Posiquito, Sabaneta, every corner of Aruba owes San Nicolas this special opportunity. So when people tell me why did San Nicolas get this special fiscal reform, why did San Nicolas get this special fiscal incentive, why don't you create it also for Oranjestad or for Paradera or for Sabaneta, we tell them, if you want to give an area an opportunity to grow, to have a chance for a rebirth, then whatever you offer, that area needs to be something special. And today we are making that commitment to give St. Nicholas something special that no other area in Aruba has with this fiscal regime that we offer St. Nicholas.